Hello and welcome to History's a Blast. It's October 2024, which brings us back to East Broadtop Country for the annual Friends of the East Broadtop reunion and other matters. So stick around and let's see what we get into. When we come to East Broadtop Country, we camp at the Burnt Cabins Grist Mill Campground in Burnt Cabins, PA. It's about uh, 15 miles south of Orbazonia, the headquarters of the East Broadtop Railroad. Today we're going to go up to Robertsdale, uh, where the Friends of the East Broadtop Railroad is having its uh, annual get-together, and uh, we'll be taking a speeder ride on restored track south uh, through the coal mining area. Our drive is about 30 minutes long and we're going to get on uh, US Highway 522 and go south right here through the village of Burnt Cabins uh, and uh, we'll be turning west onto Pennsylvania Route 475 at uh, the crossroads near a place called Knobsville. I thought it'd be a good idea just to uh, take about five minutes out of the 30 minute drive to Robertsdale and uh, show you some of the sights, not really the sights, but show you the scenery along the way. It's uh, quite a nice little drive. So here we are coming into Fort Littleton exit on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. This is your uh, intro to the area if you're traveling on the turnpike. There's the uh, toll booth there on the left. Now we're climbing up out of the uh, Fort Littleton exit area toward the turnoff at Knobsville onto 475. Now we'll head cross country toward the little town of Houston Town, where we'll change from 475 onto 655 north. Here's Houston Town, 475 turns off to the north where it crosses recently restored track on the East Broadtop Railroad south of Orbazonia. They're making great progress and we'll have an update on uh, track work in a later video. Hope you'll join us for that. And as we head cross country, the loom of Broadtop Mountain and Sidling Hill is in the distance there. After about five or six miles, we come into the crossroads hamlet of Waterfall, where we will leave 655 and turn left, going west toward Robertsdale on Pennsylvania Route 913. After about a mile or so, the highway turns uh, to the right and starts climbing the escarpment of Broadtop Mountain. It's a steep climb for about uh, three or four minutes. Now we're coming down into the town of Robertsdale, the former coal company town of the Rock Hill Coal Company. Coming up on the left is the Volunteer Fire Company where the Friends of the East Broadtop has its annual business meeting on Friday of the Fall Reunion Weekend. This year it was the first weekend in October. 
And we come to a T intersection in the middle of town. That's the old reality theater of the brick building. That's where the Broadtop Area Coal Miners Historical Society has its museum. Past the old coal company hotel, the blue gray building there on the right. Bending around to the left, we cross over Great Trough Creek, coming into the company square. And we'll park here and uh, enjoy the speeder ride. As we head out of town, look on the left there at that paved pathway that's uh, going to be expanded to improve accessibility on the walking tours to the mines that volunteers of the Friends of the East Broad Talk lead. Those signs were made by my old friend Bill Metzger, who readers of Trains Magazine might uh, be familiar with as the maker of maps for the uh, articles in that magazine. House is right down in there, and the openings, the openings are back in, right back in there along the hillside. Are you, are you, are you, are you the guy? I'm sorry. No, I'm just a driver. Okay. If somebody asks me a question, I'll give them an answer. Well. <laughs> you don't know what, you don't know the right answer. Just make something up. That's right. <laughs> Water tank was in here, and this is the we're coming up to number five. The temple for number five was up up on that hit on that pile of rubble up there. There's the boiler house, and, and the hoist house is out of sight back that way. This is where one of the coal we had a coal cleaning plant up here, and it was up here. One of them was here. Speeder rides are a special thing for the Friends of the East Broadtop on this particular weekend, but if you visit the museum during the regular season, the FEBT has pedal cars that you can go on, and we'll see a pedal car later on in this video going back the other way. It's just a beautiful area, especially in the fall. Ten years ago, this was unimaginable work of the volunteers and the full-time track crew of the EBT when they're not doing track work on the main line down the hill there are amazing. of the run so far is just about 1,200 feet shy of Woodvale itself. A lot of work. Just a great ride and more to come. We're going to stop right here for this episode and when we come back we'll uh, walk through the mines with uh, Ron Pearson and Rick Case. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll come back and look at some more. See you soon. Thank <laughs> you.
Yeah. <laughs>